Hey, what's up? Uh, Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Now, this is the 2000 Mazda Miata project. Okay, we're going to be doing a full body kit plus more on this car, and it's going to look really good. Uh, I might be doing a complete color change. I don't know if I might uh, keep the original color or not. Uh, because this is a limited edition, uh, I may keep the original color because you know how that is with uh, limited editions and people like to see original colors on the car um, so I'm not sure yet but I might just go ahead and uh, modify it completely 100 percent change the color so this is our 2000 Mazda Miata I have my full body kit right here Okay, um, obviously I'm in my home garage, okay, so 90% of this thing is going to be prepared in my home garage just to show you guys that this could be done from home and you don't need a lot of tools to do it. Um, that's the reason why I'm having fun and uh, I'm doing this from home. So this is a personal project, not a customer, okay, and we have a lot of dings and dents on this thing. Um, we have some foggy headlights. Uh, which I'm going to show you how to fix, okay? Um, and let's just go ahead and take a look at the body really quick. We have some oxidation and some paint uh, that was being eaten from bird crap, it looks like. Okay, this is what happens when you have a lot of bird crap sitting on your paint for a long time and you never wash it off. This is the kind of stuff you're going to get, okay? It cracks the paint, it eats the clear up and uh, looks really bad and there's no way of getting rid of this uh, just by sanding and buffing this is actually the clear is actually eaten up so the proper way to do this is you have to sand it out feather it prime it and rebase it repaint it but we're not going to be doing that with this car because this whole front clip is going to be for sale I'm just going to throw it on eBay or sell it here locally because we're putting a full Bomex body kit on it. We're going to change the whole front of this car. Okay, so as we come down toward here, we have a couple of dings. Okay, you see this nice ding on the fender? Um, we have some dings on the fender again. Okay, nice little dings all over the place. We're going to show you how to take all of these out. Um, we have scratches on the mirror. I don't know if you can see it. See these? Okay. Um, we have a little damage on the rear deck right over here, a nice little dent. Okay. Um, we have a bump over here. Okay, look like she backed up into something or somebody hit her. So we can see some cracking. This is very common too. Uh, the paint cracks, and uh, you know you get a high spot. This whole area in here is is actually coming out. It's high right in here. So we're gonna have to get the heat gun, push this down, and uh, put some body fill on it. Okay, because we're not replacing the full uh, back bumper cover, we're just gonna be putting uh, add-ons back here. Okay, these things. These are going to be going back over there, and I'm going to mold them in to the car. Um, looks like she's been painted before. Uh, if you could see, you could see the runs. Okay, you see that? That's how you can see if uh, a car was painted. So this back bumper was touched up. Okay, you can see the clear runs right in here. All right, so that's part of your inspection to see, you know how it was hit. Um, another way is to check your gaps. Okay, If you have gaps on one side and the other side is a little bigger, then you know, okay, about the same, maybe a little bigger on the other side. So it probably had a small damage. I checked inside the trunk and looked in the back underneath for frame damage. No damage at all. Very clean. Um, we have a little big boo-boo right here. Okay. So we're going to have to uh, get some our welding pins and pull that out. Okay, if you do not have a welder, you might be able to tap something like this from the inside. We're going to go ahead and see if we could do that also. But uh, most likely it's a lot easier to 
we'll go ahead and just pull this out. You might want to take the cover off so you can hammer this ridge up, okay, because you see it, it pushed down. So while pulling this out, you're going to want to hammer under here upwards, okay, like that. Uh, we'll get into more of that later. <clears throat> this is another common type of scratch. Uh, a scuff from a pole or something inside of a building, okay. This is uh, pretty deep, okay. We're not going to take this out by sanding or buffing. <clears throat> something like this is going to have to be sanded out and uh, glazed or maybe uh, some a light skin of uh, body fill, okay. So as we walk around the car, this door looks pretty good. Uh, we have a couple of scratches in here. Okay, pretty deep. And our fender, we have another boo-boo right here. And on our hood, we have a nice little ding right in here. I don't know if you see it. Let's try to get a better view. Right there. Okay, you see this? That's our ding in the hood. Okay, so that's going to have to come out. And we have a whole bunch of nicks and chips from rocks on the hood. So all of that's going to be taken care of. Okay, so not bad. We have some body work. No rust. Okay, uh, a good thing. No rust on this car. Uh, we have door jams that we're going to have to also paint up. So this whole interior is probably going to come out. This floor pan is going to come out. Um, what else? Pretty nice interior uh, for a 2000. We got the uh, limited edition, so it has the wood steering wheel, uh, the wood uh, shifter, and the brake knob. Uh, leather seats, very clean. Um, too bad for the little rip in the seat right here. Uh, but other than that, uh, the car is uh, pretty clean. So, I started starting video, okay, for our 2000 Mazda Miata. And uh, just giving you guys a rough overview of what we're looking at here and uh, what we're going to be doing. So, in the next videos, we're going to get into more detailed steps, uh, little action plans, what you could start to do to your own car and uh, get this thing up to. Uh, cherry condition okay we're going to be doing a full body kit um, Lamborghini doors uh, full color change so uh, I'll see you in the next video uh, what you want to do to get started again Tony from learnautobodyandpaint.com see you in the next vids bye bye